this is question 22 and it's a question involving graphs and so we're told that we've got four graphs here and we're also given some equations in this table and what we've got to do is say which graph fits which equation so one of the ways we could do this is just by remembering these graphs but if we didn't remember them then we could actually try a few values and that can let us see which graph is fits which equation so the first graph that i'm going to look at is y equals x squared because that's probably the easiest one to look at and what i can do is i can try and pick some values and see which one of the graphs would fit it so i'm going to make a little table and i'm going to look at some values so i'm going to look at x equals minus three x equals zero and x equals positive three and so if we square negative three we'll actually get nine and if we square zero we'll still get zero and if we square three we'll get nine again the reason why we got the positive nine there at the uh, for negative three is because if we times a negative by another negative we would get a positive and so if we want to say which one of these graphs is the y equals x squared then for both negative three so let's look at this one here so both negative three and positive three we can see that we've got a positive value for y so it's actually symmetrical as well so we can see that that's the only one that for both the negative three and the positive three there we'd actually get a positive y value so we can see that that must be graph d so now i'm going to look at the graph of y equals x cubed and again i'm going to just try some values for it so if i was to cube x equals minus three that'd be minus three times minus three times minus three again so i would get 27 and then the sign on it would be minus times minus gives me a plus but then another minus will give me negative again take it back to negative so that would be a negative value minus 27 and then if i was to cube x equals zero then that would give me zero because zero times zero times zero is still zero and if i cube three then i'm going to get three times three times three is this time positive 27. so what i'm looking for is a graph which is negative on the negative side of zero and positive on the positive side of zero and also goes through zero so it's got to go through zero zero so it would either be this one going through at zero or this one going through at zero and because it's positive for positive values of x there and also for negative values of x so minus three there we're going to get a negative value of there on the y-axis so that's minus 27 that's plus 27 we can see that this one must be graph c so now i'm going to look at the top one which is y equals minus x cubed and again i'm just going to try a few values so i can see that when i'm cubing negative three i'm going to get minus 27 as before but then i'm going to go minus that value so minus times minus is going to give me plus 27. when i cube zero I'll get zero so even if I then take the minus zero it's still going to be zero if I cube three I'll get 27 but then I'm going minus that value so that's minus 27 so actually this is the same as the previous graph the graph of y equals x cubed but it's just the reverse of the values there in fact it's flipped in the x-axis and if we look at which one fits that we can see that when we've got minus three we're expecting a positive value well this one fits that we've got a positive value there that would be 27 and if we look at zero it does go through zero which is what we want and if we look at positive three there then that actually gives us negative 27 so we can see that the graph of y equals minus x cubed is actually graph b so we can put that in so obviously by a process of elimination we could say that this one here is going to be graph a but i'm just going to show why that would be the case so looking at the graph of y equals one over x we could then work out the values for it so if x is minus three then we could see that we'd actually get minus one third because one over three is one third 
and that's approximately minus 0.33. If we look at the value of x equals zero, if we do one divided by zero, so one over zero, and we put that in the calculator, we actually get an interesting answer, which is we get that um, we get a maths error. And the reason is because we can't actually divide one by zero because the answer would be infinity. So for this one, it's actually infinity. So that the infinity symbol is actually that. And then if we look at the next value, x equals three, then we're actually going to get one third, which is 0.33. So that's interesting. When we're at the zero value, we get infinity. Well, that fits in with this vertical line here, the y axis. And we can see that as we approach x equals zero from the positive side, we can see that the value on the graph is going very high up. And in fact, it's never going to touch the y axis. If we look from the negative side, as we approach x equals zero, we can see that the graph goes shooting right down. And again, we'll never touch the y axis. And the name for that is that the y axis is actually what's called an asymptote, which is a line that we never touch. And if we look at the values of negative three there, we can see we've got a small negative y value, which does fit in with that point there. And if we look at the value of x equals positive three, which is there, we can see we've got a small positive value if we project onto the y axis. So we can see that this graph y equals one over x does fit graph A. So that's why that's that one. So I hope that's been helpful to you. And if it has, please consider subscribing to our channel and also giving our video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.